Okay, so the question is, uh, hopefully we be, we're starting to understand this idea of Archimedes' principle. And um, the question is then, how do we know if an object will sink or float? Okay, and remember, Archimedes' principle is all based on the amount of displaced fluid. Okay, so for example, here is an object. Right, we don't know what this block is made of. Um, and what is the displaced part? Right, that, that is the displaced part. You change colors, but you can see it. Right, there, that's the displaced part. And so we can see that the, that's the displaced um, part. So uh, we compute that volume of water. Right, there's the volume of water. And we we calculate what is the gravitational force on that volume, that displaced volume of water. That force is the upward buoyant force. Okay, so the upward buoyant force is based on the volume of water displaced. Okay, the gravitational force on that volume of water displaced. But if the block itself, if the force of gravity on that block, right, the original block with the, with the original density is greater than that upward buoyant force, then of course it'll sink. If that gravitational force is smaller than that upward buoyant force, then it will rise to the surface. Okay? So, f so a nice example here is, um, what about a steel ship? How do they float? How does a steel ship float? Because, of course, if you just have a block of steel in water, it's just going to sink, right? Why will it sink? Because if you take that, um, you, ca you calculate the volume of the water displaced, Right, the volume of that water displaced, and you calculate the gravitational force on that volume of water, right? That gravitational force that's acting on the volume of that displaced water is that upward buoyant force. Okay. But then you've got Fg acting down, Fg, Earth on the steel. And of course, that downward force of gravity on that block of steel is going to be much greater than the upward buoyant force, which is based on the volume of that water displaced. Okay, But if you want this block of water to float, then all you need to do is design it like the hull of a ship. Okay, the, the hull. So that that same block of steel which has that same gravitational downward force based on the steel, you just make sure that that design displaces so much water, right? It displaces so much water that this amount of water, right, multiplied, right, so the gravitational force on this amount of water is greater than this gravitational force on that that steel. Okay? That gravitational force. Okay. I hope I haven't thoroughly, absolutely confused you. So please make sure that you understand this. Cheers.